Hi, Scorpios. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize. I hope you, get, oh yeah, you guys can hear me. I apologize for not looking, you know, at my, uh, how do you call this, at my best. <laughs> because I, I'm, I'm actually rushing. I stayed up late night because uh, I have to go, the, you know, the Akshaya Tritiya. It is in the 10th of May. And, um, you know, it's the eve right now. And I, I stayed up late making more multiple blessing and um, because people have been getting it and I have to go, I have to, meaning I have to get up and then, you know, uh, start my journey now before, to, before the 10th. Okay, but wait, let me do your read first. I'll talk more about it. Okay, let's see here, guys. Okay. So it's very impromptu, guys. I still have my, my drink, not sponsored. Mm-hmm. Mm. But let's get you settled, okay? Let's see. Okay. Um, there is a conversation. Someone is about to approach you. Very nice. Very sweet individual. Um, I feel like on your end, you're more about like, well, I know myself. I'm very confident. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do with my life. And you're attracting this person. Younger water sign or younger person. Oh, hm. emperor and empress. Look at that. Huh, divine feminine, divine masculine. Huh, this is the message, the Knight of Cups. So, you know how I always say in your reading, as Jupiter is in the first house now, You'll meet someone. This is the first time. I haven't seen this for the whole year. The emperor and empress being together. I don't believe so. So this is your soulmate. Rahu in the fifth also, right? And this is the conversation. Like We'll talk about empress Aries. You have Taurus as the empress also. Okay, Scorpio. Guys, I'm really sorry for looking like this. Okay. I literally um, getting ready. And then I said I need to do the read for you guys, Scorpio. We'll be talking about, of course, the Akshaya Tritiya. Okay, so bear with me, guys, okay? Um, current transit here, I'm just opening up. Okay. Okay, there. Moon is in Taurus already in 13 degrees. It's going to get more settled. Sun is already in 25 degrees in Aries. And don't forget, you will still get this, guys. Your, um, uh, your... <laughs> I'm still trying to put my words together, guys. Okay. Um, your <laughs> manifestation gift set, okay, it's here. Okay, so things that you need, it comes free with your multiple blessing. Okay, when you get your multiple blessing, this is your, uh, that comes, it, it comes with that one, okay? Oh, and then what I was saying, Emperor and Empress, I like it because this is Surya and, um, uh, Surya and Shan, uh, Chandra, meaning the sun and the moon, that's the king and queen, you know, in the, with the Graha. So the king and queen is king is sun, queen is moon. And then you have the general, which is Mars. You have Venus and Jupiter as the, I forgot what it's called, but they're the, they're the, they're the priests. They're the guide, okay, basically. They're the gurus. They're both teachers. And then you have Saturn as the servants, you know. So there's a caste system in astrology. And I like this because this is the luminaries. And then, hear me out. Okay, hear me out. Okay. So with the luminaries, the sun is ruby, moon is pearl, okay? I, I did it. I woke up and I said, it's like, oh, let me create something that I need to bring also to, I'm not sleepy, guys, so, um, to bring to the river with me. So I said, it's like, but I need, uh, I need a sign, okay? So look, okay, I draw the cards, guys. And I said, I need the sign. And look, you got the pearl. And then Ruby. This I prepared, but I said, I, I do I? Should I? You know? And that's the answer. Okay. I love it. Okay. That it connected also. So this, okay. This is my Akshaya pouch. And I'll make sure, okay, that if you get your, uh, your multiple blessing today, okay, before the eve of the Akshaya today, I will take it with me. Because I have rubies here. <laughs> I got some rubies. Okay, I'm so excited. Now, I'll talk to, I'll talk about the benefits of this, of course. Scorpio, don't worry. I'll read the tarot, okay? And I'll read the astrology. The benefits of the pearl is soothing. It's calming. You carry it with you. 
Um, of course, Sun rules your 10th house, your career, your business, society is a 10th house. That's where we spend majority of our time. So improving your Sun, okay, will improve your career, your business, your how you make your money, your income. How you, uh, you know, if you improve your moon, which is ninth house, that's your, that's cancer for you, that's your Badaka planet, actually. If you improve that, you're going to open doors. Doors are going to open for you naturally, okay? So this will come free. It will come free. Don't worry about it, okay? With this one, okay? Because I needed a sign, and then we got the sign, okay? So, so this is your actual tritia pouch. Okay, so if you get that, I'll add it. I'll add it to your stuff. Okay, so emperor and empress. Okay, so Jupiter is in the seventh house. So this is the karaka for um, the spouse. So if you're a person who's open right now to meet someone, this is a very wonderful time. It's one degree. It's there for twelve months, and it's only in the first month. It's May. So uh, I need you to navigate this energy as much as like you know take advantage of it you know you go out you can meet people or if you're if you have someone right now uh this is the time where you should really um you know um i feel like build the relationship this will bring sweetness sweetness in the relationship uh as far as jupiter is in the seventh okay jupiter rules your um second house um which is uh, sagittarius your money also will improve Jupiter will aspect also your uh, fifth house from it, which means, again, income is going to improve as well. Jupiter rules your fifth house, which is your dating and romance. So I think of it like all those are key points, the one that I'm talking about. And if those are key points, Jupiter is blessing that and it's going to perform wonderful. Okay. Hermit. Okay. So this is seeking, looking, wondering, you know, asking. It's like, okay, praying is a hermit. I've done the work, Sal. Um, I don't even have my ring. Okay, literally. I rolled up and I said, like, I gotta go, but I gotta read. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. Your intuition is guiding you. Queen of Cups. So this is a very focused energy for who's watching there, who's intuitive, who connects with the divine, because hermit is always praying and asking for an answer. Okay. So if you see me right now, like, who is this person? I don't know him. He's talking to me directly. I know that this is the one emperor, you know, emperor, empress, whatever you, uh, this is when, you know, channeled message uh, comes to me. And I'm telling you that this connection is meant to be. lovely very very lovely energy right very very lovely energy okay so okay now one thing that oh okay healing for of swords that we need to focus is to heal ourselves and then the nine of cups we get our wish fulfillment as we um cleanse ourselves from trauma from worries from fears those are obstacle with our manifestation that's why when I made this, I focused on the, uh, you know, the, the pink opal, the love and harmony. And then, of course, the garnet for that material wealth. Of course, we all can use a little bit something, something there. The black spinel for protection, very, very good for protection and focus. And the turquoise for that attraction, even though I don't have, you know, like, I'm, I don't think I'm attractive right now. <laughs> work, turquoise, work. Okay. And then you have the amethyst for master manifestor. It's made of real gold. Um, Surya is the real gold also. And then if you wear silver, I didn't combine silver here because silver is Chandra, which is moon. Okay. But you will see, I, I do wear silver on my neck and then, you know, my, my ring is silver to calm and soothe me down. Okay. Um, not that because, you know, you're going to be like rah, 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 but it's good for balancing the energy. Okay. So this is this one. So make sure to check it out. Okay. Again. Oh, and I forgot. I believe if you get your, um, cause I was working with this. Okay, so if you go to our site, okay, I'm not sure when, but I feel like you will get this if you if you purchase certain amount, something like that. I can't remember, okay, but this is, uh, I use this as a remedy for debt removal, okay, so it removes uh, debts, but it's different practices because some don't want to put it hanging in the, uh, how do you call this, 
under because you have to go to your bathroom sorry if you're eating you hang it on top okay and it has worked wonders for me for my debts yes as a businessman of course you know you have certain debts that you want to get rid of and i hang it okay um and it works so this one you get this also okay but not with the kit i believe if, if there's a certain thing that you have to do but you will see it okay so nine of cups is your wishing for your fulfillment here okay your wish is going to be fulfilled but two of pentacles six of swords with a page of wands you still have questions if you're if you should let go you have ten of swords page of wands two of pentacles um there are some parts of you scorpio that cannot forgive this who i don't know they did something to you, Ten of Swords, betrayed you, Two of Pentacles, they're on and off, Six of Swords, they have ignored you. Page of Wands is um, how immature they are. So you're kind of in that mindset. It's like, should I? You know, Four of Swords with the Nine of Cups. If you hold on to that energy, you're not welcoming what the what the time, you know, as far as the Grahas, the planets are telling, uh, are transiting right now. So this is not good, okay? For you to sit on okay so the healing that you need okay is actually the hermit seeking time out some some you know some me time once you do that your queen of cups is gonna come meaning your intuition is gonna be aligned and i feel like the emperor and empress is gonna be coming to you soon so but we will look into this empress and emperor okay so this is your your soulmate connection the masculine and the feminine if you believe in that Let's see. Ooh, the devil. Hmm. And I ask, what is this? So there is this deep attachment from each other then. There is something unhealthy. So this becomes an obstacle between you and your person. Lies, deceit, manipulation. Okay. So this devil, we have to work. Now, this is the Rahu in the fifth. Okay. The constant desire. Because we manifest, we, I always say when I coach, we manifest what we obsess because that's what Rahu. It will make sure it manifests. So if you are fearful, you're doubtful, you, we, we create that. Okay? It, we create that reality and this is something that we need to work on because this is something that separates the two of you. The devil. Mm -hmm. Let's work on this. I love you, Ken. <sighs> I was worried. <laughs> yes, I, I do get worried. The death card. You can. Right? You see, I said, like, okay, this needs to be worked on. So this is now the Scorpio saying, death to my obsession, unhealthy practices, lies and deceit between me and my person, the hate, the anger, the frustration, the distrust, the this, this, and that. And it goes vice versa because I ask what is going on in between the two of you or what will. So that Jupiter in the seventh, okay, is this you, Scorpio. You're going to a very transformative time on how you deal with your relationship. Because now it's different. You know what to do. Jupiter is in the seventh. It gives you that wisdom. So you know how to navigate. Okay? Because Rahu is ignorance. Okay? Now, as far as transit, we don't like Mars and Rahu are together in the tw uh, for right now. Okay? Um, the, and Mercury, of course, is debilitated 29 degrees in Pisces. If you're trying to communicate with your person, I do advise after 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. The 15, if there is, okay, May, May 15 would be much better. That's also Sankrati, which means, hear me out, guys. Sankrati is when the sun shifts from one sign to the next sign. So if you manifest during the first 45 minutes, around the 16, I believe, um, it's going to go to Taurus. So sun goes to Taurus now and relationship will be highlighted. I forgot. I did mention why I go to the river, right? Okay, I'm everywhere, guys. I apologize. So this is what I'm taking to the river. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, they showed it in the, in the edit. Okay. Um, this is the Akshaya Treaty. This is the multiple blessing. It's Akshaya, uh, making it on the Akshaya Treaty for healing, okay, and whatever you're, and what you're manifesting here, okay? So I'm going to put your intention in this bracelet. I forgot. Okay. The death card is here, okay? Page of Pentacles, an apology, okay? Things are going to get settled, but you have, I feel like your person is walking away from things that the two of you were kind of like fighting because you have Eight of Cups here and the Seven of Wands. And then now, slow and steady, Knight of Pentacles, it's a start, okay? Jupiter, one degree, the Fool is a, okay, it's a new journey, and then you have a Death card. So all this toxicity, okay? So whoever I'm connecting with, I feel like you're really doing your work. The spiritual work, your healing, your manifestation, and you're walking into the light. You're not dying, okay? This is a death. This is the old Scorpio. This is the new, 
okay? Which is wonderful. As the full card is here, I feel like you're constantly fighting for change. Nine of Wands in a tower. As you do that, Scorpio, what you're expecting is coming towards you. That's a Three of Wands. And it's a new beginning, Ace of Wands. A passionate connection that is, I feel like your person is going to come towards you. Okay, so as you, you, I feel like the work is needed within, and then the universe acknowledges that, and then you have the temperance. For some, it's a reconciliation, but look at that. From the devil comes now the temperance. Balance, peace, okay, harmony, which is a temperance. I love this. So now let's see the energy. It can be an Aries, you get Taurus. You got Capricorn, you got Gemini, you got Pisces, of course. Ooh, look at that. The coins also. Money will improve. You will see that. As your relationship improve, money will improve also. Ace of Pentacles. That's why I wanted you to have the this one. Okay, don't forget the Akshayatritiya pouch. This is the sun. Uh, this is the moon, pearl. Okay, and then you have ruby. You carry this with you, okay? I, I gave you before, guys, the yellow sapphire also. Okay, so this is free. Ace of Pentacles, okay, the struggles that you're seeing right now, judgment in the Five of Wands, is temporary, okay? So it's temporary, you'll be, okay, done with this, done with that, okay? And then, look at that. So, just like any other relationship, any other connection that you're building, work-wise, career-wise, all this will come to pass. And the Hierophant, which is your seventh house, which is Taurus, which is the partnership, which is the business, which is the career, because this is my Fortune 500, becomes stable. Okay, that's why we want the moon in Taurus. It is exalted in Taurus because it is stable. The mind is stable. And if a mind is stable, it can manifest anything. Okay, relationship-wise, it can be good. And that's that one. For some, oh, you're going to get engaged. Justice, Ace of Pentacles in the Temperance. You're going to get engaged. This is marrying. Justice is there. This is Justice card, guys. Okay, this is my engagement ring. I've done this reading for a client before. It did show. Okay, well, actually, the person was funny because the person was testing me with the client. Uh, she, was, she, she was engaged. But she's like, oh, I see you're engaged. And it's like, yes. Uh, and then it's like, then why are you getting a read? I just want to know okay, about the wedding. <laughs> okay, so now, emperor and empress, meant to be, right? You've done the work, justice. Universe hears you because temperance, you've forgiven the situation, Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant okay, is now coming to settle. So if this is you and this is your energy, this one right here, okay, I'm going to go now. Okay, I'll take this with me. Okay, so I work overnight and I have a bunch now. Okay, I feel like this is around uh, five or seven. Okay, uh, the multiple blessing. I'll put your intention about this relationship and then... Um, this is free shipping in the U.S. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Actually, Tritia, you can Google it, YouTube it, and, you know, it's like this is not something I created, okay? So it's a very spiritual time, okay, when the luminaries are at its best. And this is where I perform uh, my spiritual practices in the river. And normally, you would have to go to Ganges River, of course, a holy, very, very holy, uh, you know, river in India. But, you know, like, I can only get here, okay, travel also here, meaning, you know, I have to get back to the studio at the same time. So... Ace of Pentacles, Temperance, okay, I'll put your intention there. You get this, uh, you know, for free, okay? Um, this is, okay, I like that I, the prayers has been answered, the guides have spoken. Take the pro with you and the ruby, so that way, you know, um, whoever is trying to, you know, manifest this will come into union, okay? So thank you very much, Scorpio. Again, I appreciate you. I'm kind of catering to me, looking like this. Okay, uh, rare, very rare, like a Pokemon. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I like to talk, guys. But uh, I have to go. I have to get ready. And then, uh, but I'm pretty sure tomorrow there will be an upload also. So I'll see you guys again.